So many of you have been creating low content books, whether it's coloring books, which you can check out that video there if you haven't already, puzzle books, and activity books. But a lot of you guys have been asking about other low content ideas that you can do in your free time. So that's what we're gonna get into today. More low content books that are selling online. Let's get into it. I've been getting so many questions in the comments about more low content ideas for you guys to explore, to put more low content books online. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Kat Theo, and today we're gonna be going into some more ideas for low content books. Today we're not going into a detailed tutorial how to create a specific low content book, but we're going to get into some more ideas so you can get your creative juices flowing and make them on your own. If there's any low content book that I mentioned today that you would like a tutorial on how to do it, then just leave me a comment in the comment section and I will make a video in the future about that. Some of you have been reaching out to me on an app called Call For You. If you're interested, it's a dollar a minute and you have one-on-one -on -one with me just chatting questions real quick. And some of you guys are having problems selling the actual books. And what I've been seeing with people that I've been talking to on my channel is just because you put something online doesn't mean it's going to sell. So I wanna put that out there. If it doesn't come naturally, the design aspect to either hire someone to do it or to take your time and really make sure it is the best that you can sell and you're very proud of what you're selling. Just an example, it might take me 20 minutes to make a cover and a whole book and it might take you three hours and that's okay as long as you're making sure it's the best that it can be. One way you can make sure that you are selling the best cover that you can for a low budget if you did not wanna hire somebody is to contact one of your friends or family, hopefully the one that's the most objective and will just tell you how it is and ask them, don't let them know you made this book. Just say, hey, I'm gonna buy this book for my niece, what do you think of it? And just let them critique it. And you will get a lot of honest feedback about different things they either don't like about it. If they tell you it looks like someone threw it together, it's probably because it does. So definitely make sure you're taking your time get feedback before you put something online, especially if it's not selling, see if there's something about the way it looks that isn't catching people's eyes. Just like when you were a kid and you were going through a book fair, you know, you would always gravitate to the books that are the most colorful, most interesting, and the most beautiful. So definitely make sure you're doing your best to make the most colorful, beautiful books as well. All right, with no further ado, let's get into the ideas. So I don't know about you, but I think creating low content books, it's a really good creative outlet for me. I love to just in my free time when I'm bored, just to start diving into a low content book. So hopefully these ideas will also benefit you in your free time to create these. And yeah, let me know how your journey is going. How many books have you put online and let us know how it's going. So the first, the easiest one out there is a journal. There are many different kinds of journals. You can do line journal, which is pretty standard. This is something that people can use for notes, just writing things down in the house, whatever pretty straightforward aligned journal. So all you have to really focus on is designing the cover. If you have any questions about that, I will link a video here that you can check out. You can also do blank journals, which are also called sketchbooks. So this is just like a doodling. If you were one of those kids in high school where you just need to be sketching or doodling to be able to focus, this is something you can sell. It's amazing because all of the pages are blank and all you have to do again is focus on creating the cover. You also have grid journals. So, you know, those grid papers, you can do that as well. This can be for drawing, also for measuring. I just had to create a floor plan recently and I used grid paper to do it. So a lot of people are looking for this as well. There's many different kinds of journals, so definitely explore what kind of journals are out there and pick different themes that you like, play around with different things and just see where your imagination takes you. Okay, the next topic after journals is planners. There's so many different things you can do. You can focus on the school year, for example, and just do the months for the school year. So it's gonna be mostly for kids to organize themselves, high school kids, middle school kids, 
stuff like that. You can also do a weekly planner. I know personally, I prefer weekly planners versus monthly planners. And you can also do monthly planners, which I think is very common as well. I think more common, but you can take these planners and do a school year planner. You can do another one that's a weekly planner. You can do another one that's a monthly planner. That's three different low content books. And you can play around with the different designs for the cover and keep them pretty similar and just change the title. Let's say you take the time to make one fall cover. You love it. It's absolutely amazing. Everybody loves it. And then once you adapt it to your weekly planner, your monthly planner, your school year planner, you can adapt a little bit of the design. And then you can also update the title to be weekly planner or monthly planner. And you can see how simple this can be. And you can use one standard design across many different low content books. Another one you can do is a gratitude journal or a diary. Those are, I mean, I think most kids, um, you know, have a diary, have had a diary. Journaling is very healthy, something that a lot of people are getting back into. So a gratitude journal or a diary. Okay, our next topic is log books. There are so many different types of log books. One really popular one is food log books. So a lot of people try to figure out what they're allergic to or have intolerance to. So they log what they eat to see what those are. So you can do a food log journal. People also do exercise log journal to track their exercise and people do meditation log books to track their meditation. There are so many different log books. You can really track anything you want. So you can dive more into this to see what other log books are out there, but you can take, like I said, one standard design and do it across the board for different log books. The next one is color books. One of my favorites. This is something that does sell very well online on Amazon and you have adult coloring books and you also have children coloring books. Adult coloring books are doing really well right now. The adult coloring book that I made with you guys, check out that video if you haven't already, has been selling very well. So I've seen a steady stream of sales and I do not do any promotions or advertisement. I just put it up there and let it sell. Am I selling hundreds of books? No, but it's just once I made it, it's passive and it's just like up there on the internet. And it's actually really fun to see sales come through. The next one is activity books and puzzle books. We did go over this before in a previous video. Definitely check out that video if you haven't already, but you can do Sudoku books, you can do mazes, you can do word searches. There's so many different things you can do. And if you're somebody who doesn't know how to do mazes on your own, Sudoku on your own and word search, there's a great website called Book Bowl. I will put a link in the description. I have a code for 20% off the lifetime of your subscription. And we're gonna get into that a little bit later, how you can pick high selling books that will have a higher chance of selling. Book Bolt has these templates on there for you where all you have to do is click a few buttons and they will put the book together for you. All you have to do is design the cover and it's a pretty easy to do platform. The next one is recipe books. So you're not gonna be creating the recipes yourself. What you're doing is you're having a book where somebody can write in their recipes. For example, my mother, she's an amazing cook and she can never remember her recipes because she doesn't measure everything like a teaspoon of this or a cup of this. She's just shoving stuff in until it tastes good. So this is perfect for someone like her because when she nails a recipe, she writes it down. And if she doesn't like it, she rips it out, throw it away. But it's a really good way to track your own recipes as you're cooking, as you're trying to become a better cook. So yeah, if you're somebody like that, a recipe book would be awesome to track your food. The next one is guest book. So if you ever have an event, you ever have a wedding, a reception, and you want to track your guests, this is a great book you can use. I also do this for Airbnb. I'll have a guest book that people, guests can just write their name, talk about what they liked about the stay, and also recommendations for the next person coming. It's a lot of fun. The next one I'm gonna talk about is a game book. It's kind of similar to an activity book. I am gonna go into to detail how to do a tutorial on this game book. So stay tuned for my next video where I'm gonna go more into details, but you can add games into this book like Tic-Tac-Toe, Hangman, and so many other games. Now that you have so many ideas, you're gonna pick what you wanna make in your free time, you know, just when you feel like you wanna add something to the internet. And our goal is to make sales, right? And this is a lot of fun, but our goal is to make some sales. So what you can do is use a software like bookbook.io. The link is in the description. So you go onto BookBolt, you log in. All you're gonna do is click products and then I searched journal. If you're trying to create multiple low content books, 
what you can do is update this every week. This is constantly changing. Every time I put in a book keyword like journal, coloring book, this is constantly changing. So I typed in journal today and this is what came up. These are the top performing books on Amazon. So this is the top 100 books on Amazon. You can get a little bit of information here about what the average price is, the, you know, the lowest price, the highest price, etc. And you can kind of snoop on these books. So here's a, an adult motivational swear coloring book. That's not a journal. Why is that there? Okay, well, journals in the in the title, but that's not a journal. But you can see all of these different types of journals, and you can get inspiration inspiration, okay, not copy, inspiration for what is selling. So just by looking at the top 10 books here, most of them that I can see look like they're targeted towards, you know, it's about 50, 50 kids and, and adults, but there's a lot of adult ones in here. And once you find one you like, like this one looks pretty fun, it's gonna take you to Amazon and you can kind of snoop on the different keywords, the title. You can look at their description here to see what things are appealing to people, things like that. You can go to the keyword count and look at all the different keywords that are popular. And they have so many other tools. If you wanna learn how to use BookBolt to make sales on Amazon, then you just click tutorials and they have all these tutorials way better than I could do. And they're not very long, any of these, and you just learn how to use BookBolt properly. So I wanted to touch base with this really quickly. A lot of you guys have been asking who ships it, who prints it. So when you're uploading low content books on KDP Amazon, Amazon takes care of everything. All you have to do is create the design and upload your book to Amazon. Amazon takes care of the printing, the shipping, the customer service, the returns, everything else in between. This is a completely passive income stream for you. Once your book is created, you put it online and KDP Amazon takes care of everything else. You can also make this a digital book, but this is a physical book that will be shipped to the customer. This is a, not a digital book. Okay, so if there were any low content books that you would like an actual tutorial, let me know in the comments below. My next video about book ball is going to be a tutorial on how to make a game book that is a lot of fun for kids and adults alike. So stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found any value at all, make sure you press that like button, leave me a comment and share with a friend. And also I had somebody else tell me that they're not getting my videos even though they are subscribed. So definitely make sure you hit the notification bell if you like to hang out with me more on my channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> okay. How to do an, wait, one of my apps called fall, oh sorry. One way you can make sure that you are selling one, let's see. Change the, change the what? The design, okay. Change the cover a little bit. So let's see, you have, you have what? You have, mm. oh yeah, okay. <laughs> to do mazes and all these different type, oh, mazes and what else would I just say? Tic-tac-toe, hangman. What did I click? <laughs> oh, products, okay. All you're gonna do, <laughs> Jeez. and you should be doing this If you're trying to create, <laughs> sorry, get it together, okay. What am I gonna say? Hmm. That's how you can use Bookful to find, I don't, god damn it. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. And uh, what else, other questions? Let's see. A lot of you guys also have been, oh, I don't wanna talk about taxes. Talk about that in another video. A game book. <laughs>